So Emmer, you forgot a lot about uh, last time too. <laughs> Honestly, when we finished recording, I just went upstairs and just like passed out. All right, there you go. Yeah, same here. Well, I don't actually remember. I just remember waking up being like, hmm, I don't remember half the call. <laughs> same. <laughs> yeah, you pulled out your guitar at one point, you sang, and then at one point, Emery and I were talking, and you just shut your camera off and disappeared. So we're like, okay, I guess this is it. <laughs> I just Irish exited out of there. Pretty much. You were like on the side of your camera, too, and we just saw you standing there, and it just went like black. You know what? Low key proud of myself for just knowing to fucking stop. You know? <laughs> this is just probably a good moment. Oh, yeah. Seriously. Mm hmm. Emery, do you have siblings? No, I don't. Hmm. You're the only, only child in the group. Oh, yeah? yeah. Well, I was born in, in that period in China where oh. you're not allowed to have, like, siblings I guess like my parents when they had me they, they couldn't have some some other kids so oh, dang. I, didn't know. I didn't know you were born in China I just thought you were in Toronto your whole life uh, I came here when I was 10 so oh wow super yeah. late so I mean you're like it was pretty late yeah, yeah very true like mix between the two cultures I mean I don't speak in well I, I probably speak like kindergarten level Chinese so mm. No, I'm like 90% Torontonian. Gotcha, gotcha. Is that an actual term? Or is it, did you just make that up? That's a real thing. Okay, yeah. No, that's a real thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what makes you tick, though. You've been super quiet, like, almost the entire entirety of the show, so. I think so. It just, it just takes me a while to warm up to new people. That's I why think. we have the guy session it's right also because we're warming up to each other. We're going to know the real Emery by the time this is done. I just haven't really like talked to new people since like 2019. I actually like forgot how to talk to new people, to be honest. <laughs> so you tuned into the first call like shit. <laughs> These are people. How how to speak? How how do you interact with people? <laughs> it's like yeah, it was really weird when I joined. It's like all five of you are already there, so it's like oh hi. I guess I'm the last one to join. <laughs> yeah, I was just interested in seeing where the show's gonna go because it's like no matter what. Everyone's going to be long distance for me just because they're either in Canada or China or Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, this is going to be interesting. Like, I've seen it work. Like, my roommate, he was able to have a long distance relationship and now he's married. So it worked out for him for like three years. So it's interesting mm -hmm. seeing how that can work for some people and how that can be really strenuous for other couples, you know? Yeah, there's that, but like, also, you know. We gotta wait, like, <laughs> that's like pending a whole lot of other shit that has to happen first before we can start thinking about, like, can we really make a long-term relationship work, you know? And I just, I poke fun, but it's like, I'm genuinely interested in at least two of them. Oh. So we'll see how it pans out, because just two? because I'm interested doesn't mean they're interested, so that's another bigger confounding factor here. Which two? Which two? You gotta let us know yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, you guys would like no, 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 no. Can't you guys would like not do the KMF, so this is my secret now. No, 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 no. Uh, we'll do this too. We'll we'll say how many people yeah, 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 are yeah, genuinely yeah, yeah, yeah. interested and want to get to know better. We can All say right. how many and who. Oof, Agree? This is getting spicy now. I <laughs> Andrew volunteers, and he's like, no, Emery, do tell <laughs> Andrew gets all close, like, I want to listen to this now. Tell me. I... I would honestly say all three, though. I would honestly say... That's it. what I was gonna say, motherfucker. Why that's why I was so eager. That's why I was so eager to answer it. Bastards. Yeah, because I was like, yeah, that's easy. All three. I, I want to get to know everybody. But for different purposes. Oh, for different reasons. The reasons. Well, I mean, for me, it's because I, I really haven't dated since like when I was 22 so I really don't know what I want mm. and at this point in my life I wouldn't mind just trying out different things right and they're all very different people so okay um mine is all three also yeah my reasoning isn't like like Emery's like it's not a matter of like oh you know I don't know like I haven't dated in a while or anything like that it's just more like um barely got to know everybody and I just feel like 
everything that I've learned about each person, it's like has been genuinely interesting, and I want to learn more. Same. Um, interesting. But Andy, you kind of like already kind of wrote somebody off. That's pretty fascinating, man. <laughs> it's know, too spicy. Gotta, gotta be discerning. I mean, I feel like I made it obvious already as far as who the top two would be. Right? I mean, for me, <clears throat> I don't know. know. I feel like I have. If not, then you know, I guess I'm more mysterious than I thought. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. But, uh,. It doesn't seem like Andrew yeah, knows. He just wants me to say it out loud so he can be like, I knew it! No, I, I knew it! I, I genuinely have no clue. Alright, alright. Well, I mean, for me, I think I'm most interested in both Jasmine and B. Yeah. Okay. I feel like your activity is to find what you like. And the only one that really said she liked outdoorsy stuff and that kind of like traveling active stuff was Cheryl. Cheryl. And like, I like, I can do it. But there's a lot of other things I'd rather do. The fact that Cheryl went to Cambodia Same. and just uprooted everything, it's impressive and I can admire that, but it's not something I would do and just uproot myself and go into a new country. But yeah, I feel like that's what crossed it off for me. And then, you know, I told you I'm a sucker for people that are cute. So Jasmine is outwardly cute and adorable. B is like a baddie but a cutie. So it's like, okay, B, I feel like if you can just. Again, get past that crunchy exterior. I feel like she'd be someone that's really loyal and that could be like a best friend. Sorry, I'm, I'm sobering up. We should probably drink more. I agree with your reasoning, though. That's the exact way I thought about those things, too. Like, what you said about each girl. Except I'm the type who do like to go out more than just stay in. That's why I think I might be interested. Or there could be something with Cheryl. <laughs> I don't know. I thought if any of the girls that I may be least interested in, it might be Jasmine, but only because she really reminds me of my ex. That's why. I hope she doesn't watch this episode. Well, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope she doesn't watch this too. I hope my ex doesn't watch oh, this too. No. <laughs> I feel like it yeah, like, now. You feel so much like even down now. to how similar their voices are. It's like very. Explain the. Um... Like, uh, what what was your ex like? Like, give that. Exactly no, like her. I mean, like, exactly like her. Like, <laughs> like explain, though. Like, yeah, what, what mean, was her personality like? She's, I would say, yeah, I would say she's, like, exactly in between, like, a cute and a pretty as well. And she was also very, like, innocent, and, and her voice is, sounds exactly like her. Oh, man, Emery's catching feels yeah. here. <laughs> No, 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 no. I don't like to look back. I don't like to look back, so... That was the previous chapter of my life. I mean, have you guys set up your, like, one-on-ones yet? One-on-ones? With what do you mean? girls? Yeah, I think, like, this week we don't have anything scheduled, so we're supposed to, like, do one-on-ones if we want to talk to people. Well, I guess you got to go out and reach out to people and try to convince them to talk to us for an hour, so... <laughs>